What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So it's been a while. Um, I probably haven't posted a video in over a month now and that's not like me. Usually when I take time off from posting like this, which isn't very often, but when I do, I feel like the next video or like when I do finally upload again, it has to be like amazing and then that just causes me to procrastinate even more to upload another video so it never gets done. Whatever, just screw it. We're here. I'm in Venice actually. I can't really see my camera screen with these sunglasses on. No, let's just leave them off for now. Venice, Louisiana is... not not a lot of people really know about it. I call it the Key West of, uh, of Louisiana. So it's all the way at the very end like mile zero of Louisiana. It's, you know, there's not much going on here. It's a very small town. A lot of it has been abandoned actually since the huge Hurricane Katrina. And if you go around the town, you'll know, you'll see just abandoned gas stations, abandoned restaurants, grocery stores. The reason that I do come here and that we have a house here and that Lewis lives and works here is because the fishing here is phenomenal. So is the hunting, crabbing, crawfishing, oystering, anything you can name is just thriving down here. So that's what I mainly do on this channel. Um, I'll insert my little intro that I've made. <laughs> YouTube now is just so overly saturated. I feel like it's so redundant. You need to put in something different every once in a while, even if it doesn't do as well. I feel like no one watches these videos, but I feel like I need to post a video for y'all anyway, so fuck it. That's a little bit about Venice, Louisiana. Uh, you can go ahead and watch any any of the videos from my channel recently in the last three years. Most of them are filmed in Venice, Louisiana. But today, if you're an OG subscriber, if you know what's going on, you know who I am, you probably know that I do own chickens. I love chickens. I eat eggs pretty much every single day of my life since I can remember. So it was always a dream of mine to have my own chickens, to collect my own eggs. So I finally took the plunge and bought chickens three or four years ago, something like that. And I've had chickens ever since here in Louisiana because I have this space. Okay, back in the house. Let's see, I got, let me show you, new countertops in the kitchen. I can't believe it. I'll show a before picture right here. So before it was nasty like tile with grout and it was all unlevel and couldn't clean it as well and it just really annoyed me. We also had an over mount, like over the counter mount sink which was very shallow and it had like this separation in the middle. So it was really kind of difficult to clean dishes sometimes. It is just a freaking game changer. I can't wait to do a catch and cook video with the new counters and the new beautiful kitchen. I um, also finally installed hardware on all the cabinets. So now I have the ability to open drawers. It's just such a luxury to have hardware on your cabinets. I still need to do all these and that one, but I've got all those things put in. So I've really been working on trying to do some things around this house in Venice to make it a little bit prettier, I guess. And, and also like not only is the countertops more pretty, it's definitely more efficient, more functional than what we had before. It's, you know, a small thing. 
it's not completely necessary, but I'm just one of those people that really cares about interior design and like decorating, like making sure the inside of my house looks nice. It's not for everyone, but for me, I just, it just makes me happy and I like, and I enjoy it and I like it. I've been doing a lot of thrifting, like uh, for furniture, going to like Goodwills and Hospice and Habitat for Humanity and stuff like that. And I bought this piece of furniture right here and redid it. So this, I mean, it, it must, I don't know how old it is, but it was in great condition. It's solid wood. And I'll show the before picture. We added the legs, the shelf, and then I painted the drawer front and I also sanded it and refinished it. It's, this is why I bought it. This uh, cane feature on the side, which is like so in right now if you're into furniture. <laughs> yeah, so I got that, I redid that. I actually painted this table right here. It was like a dark brown color. It didn't really go with the rest of the stuff. And then I also, I also painted this dresser, which was a dark gray color before. So I've been kind of, and I added these little drawer pulls. They're really cute. Um, I got them off Amazon. So what else is new? Um, what else is new? I guess we'll just, you know, get into the chickens. Oh, before we get to that, I also got a brand new Traeger smoker grill. We have been loving that. The Traeger is just amazing. And I, I really wanna do a catch and cook video using it soon. And I also got some new chickies. Oh, they're, they're scared. Um, I'm gonna show you how I got them. Oh, they're so curious. Look at Olivia. Look at Olivia loves me. She loves me. She is the coolest, most friendliest one. She just crawls right up in my hand and climbs up my shoulder. And she, this morning she jumped on top of my head. Look what I just picked up. Can you hear them? Okay, I need to get them out of here because they've been in here for like two days, I think. I want to get them out as soon as possible. Oh, let's see. Oh no. Uh oh, one's dead. I've never ordered chicks from online before, so this is my first time doing it. And it's pretty easy. The only thing that's a little nerve wracking is like, once they ship, you're like, you know, you're worried about them being in that box. I mean, I think they were in that box for like two days. If they shipped on the 11th, today's the 14th, and I'm finally getting them today. So I don't know what's going on at the US post office in New Orleans, but they were there for like over a day, and that kind of makes me mad, but, Oh well, you know, hopefully we have some happy, healthy chicks. And uh, I'm really excited to add these chickens to my current flock. I only have three right now, Penny, Moxie, and one that we call the Eagle Head. She's an Easter Egger. But I got like some of my dream chickens in the mail. I've never ordered online. I've only gotten them at the store. But usually at the store, you're very limited on what breeds of chickens you can choose from. So I actually got to pick the breeds of chickens that I want and I'm really excited because I got some really pretty chickens and also different color eggs too. So, um, but actually first I need to figure out which one didn't make it, uh, what breed, because uh, I don't know, I can't tell what breeds they are from being little chicks. Okay, these are the new ladies. She is a partridge olive egger. So she's actually gonna be my one that lays olive green eggs, hopefully. I'll put a picture also of what she's supposed to look like when she's older right next to the camera so you can kind of get an idea. They're very uh, they're very upset that I just grabbed them out of the pen, but these are the two olive egg, or sorry, Easter eggers. I've had Easter eggers before. They're not my favorite, but they do lay a beautiful blue egg and they're, they're pretty friendly too and um, pretty hardy also for the weather that we get. I don't know what they're gonna look like. She's gonna be clearly black though, with maybe some orange feathers. And this one's gonna be probably a tannish brown color with this really cool, man, let me see. They look so ugly right now because it's okay, it's okay. 
They look so ugly right now because they're growing in their adult feathers. She's got some cool markings on her face. So these I'm so excited about. They're so pretty. I'll put a picture of what they look like or what they're supposed to look like on this on the side right here. These are blue laced red wine dots. You can already see their blue feathers underneath. And I got two because I ordered a different type, but they weren't she wasn't available, so I just put told them to put two of these in there. See she's got her little tail feathers growing in already. Also her adult feathers on her shoulders right here and her wings are coming in nicely. But this one over here, she's got a different type of body build. <laughs> she's very round. She's got no adult oh the camera fell. She's got no adult feathers hardly coming in, just a little bit on her wingtips. She's being shy. Come here. She's so round. See, she's got like no adult feathers, but she's the same age, so I'm thinking she's just a late bloomer. Look at that fluffy little butt. See how she's got her tail feathers? She's got none. This one is the Blue Black Splash Andalusian. But from the way her feathers look, I'm thinking she's gonna turn out to be a solid blue, but you never know. And she's supposed to lay a white egg. She's got the prettiest little wings. Look at these. Growing in, she's already got her tail feathers growing in too. And her little shoulder feathers right here. So I'll put a little picture of what she's supposed to look like next to her. She's so cute. You've got the prettiest wings. See your wings. Look at those wings. <laughs> she is super cute. I love the blue color on the chickens. There's a few different breeds that come in the blue. And I just decided to go with this one because she lays a white egg. I wanted to add a white egg. For some variety. Okay, let me put her back. Oh, look at those wings. <laughs> and this one is my silver cuckoo marans. She's supposed to lay a dark brown egg. Very, very dark brown. She is supposed to look like... That's not a good noise. <laughs> She's not happy. It's okay. It's okay. Alright. There you go. So that's the crew. And then, um, yes, I ordered more. So <laughs> they're coming on Halloween, or they should be shipping on Halloween. So I'll show you those when I get them. But they are so much fun to watch. Okay, so sorry for the randomness of this vlog. I feel like it's a little bit all over the place. But honestly, that's just kind of how my filming has been over the last month of October. I mostly took the time to take care of just real life stuff, work on some projects. Also to just take a break from content creating. I feel like YouTube and Instagram social media is just so overwhelming sometimes. So it's just nice to be able to go fishing or go hunting or do stuff outdoors and not have to worry about bringing the camera and doing the whole vlog thing and just enjoy the things that I really love to do without having to worry about it. But also at the same time, I did really miss filming and making YouTube videos. So no worries, the fishing videos will be back. I definitely have some catch and cook videos I wanna do and lots of stuff planned. So keep an eye out on my channel, stay subscribed. Also, of course, would like to keep you updated on the chicks. As you can see here, I did end up moving them to the pen outside. We have this perfect size, small pen for them to grow into. This is a good idea to keep them separated from the existing flock because there is a strategy to introduce new chickens to your existing chickens because, um, like I've said in previous videos, chickens can be really mean to each other and bully each other and stuff like that. So I will include some tips on that in a future video. I'd also like to do a coop tour. We're going to build a new coop and stuff like that. So if you have any questions about 
raising backyard chickens, definitely leave them in the comments below. I would love to do my best to answer them in future videos. Definitely in the next video or the next time you see them, they should be transformed from what they look like now. So that will be fun to see. That's enough for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, even though it's different than what I normally do. But I do think I would like to keep adding different things to the channel just to make things interesting and just to be different. Definitely hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and like, share, comment, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you all in my next video.